Hi guys, welcome back to yet another fun, but maybe slightly depressing DIY video here about good old Athena. It is a cold and grey June morning here in Denmark, and that pretty well matches my mood, because yesterday I put my fiance Ava on a flight back to LA. We had so much fun over the last couple of weeks. We worked together here about Athena laying up laminate over the structural members, and we also went sailing. It was perfect. For us to be able to have a future together, I do need to finish Athena so we can move aboard. So uh, let's head up. While Ava was here, we came up with a very cool 10-step, 5-year plan for our life together and our cruising. For now, I'm just going to focus on the first year and a half, which for me entails working on Athena and for Ava, graduating school. I'm afraid there's not going to be too much new under the sun in this video because I'm still waiting for the plywood for the new bulkheads and the cabin sole to show up. So this video is going to be mainly laying up more glass over the structural members. With the help of Ava, the bulk of the glass has been laid up here on the starboard side. I only need to finish these three little sections and then the area around the bulkhead. I can't really get to the area underneath the old aft head before I remove this bulkhead. And before I remove this bulkhead, I want to have the new bulkhead in place. But if I can finish the forward area of this little section here this weekend, then this area is going to be all ready for the new cabin sole and also the bulkhead. So uh, fingers crossed. Just in case you're new to my channel, I will link in a video down below that explains what the heck I'm doing here and why I'm doing it. So if you're curious, go ahead and check out that video. I'm about 20 minutes into the day and the wheels have already come off of the bus. It turns out I don't have enough UD left to finish this section. So there might be a little express excursion to my epoxy and fiberglass pusher in my very near future. It takes two and a half hours to drive to the epoxy pusher and it also takes two and a half hours to drive back. So that's five hours well spent, but at least now I've got all the UD I need. And I also dropped off a bunch of other supplies up at the workshop. UD in hand, I am now going to take care of the prep work so that tomorrow after work I can start laying up glass and, well, hopefully it'll be smooth sailing from there. Welcome to the workshop. I figured for this video not just to be about me laying up laminate, it would be fun if I took another stab at this bushing for the rudder. As I'm sure some of you can remember, about a month ago I took a stab at making a new one of these bushings, and that's this guy here. Now that was kind of doomed to fail from the beginning because the scrap piece of palm I had was not big enough, so I had to hold off until the end to cut it down in the middle. And that means the hole here in the center would not be round. So that is certainly an issue. And also I messed up the diameter in here. I've already chopped off a fresh piece of pump, split it down the middle and secured it. I've cleaned up the end here, but as you can see, there is quite a lot of material we need to remove. mama, as the young kids like to say nowadays. The new part is now within a one hundredth of a millimeter of the old part, so that is certainly plenty accurate for this. Before I get to the tricky part, which is most definitely going to be the inside hole here, let's just go ahead and put a little chamfer on this edge here, just to bump up the spiffiness a little bit. Okay, now, easy does it. Something like this should do. Now, of course, this doesn't matter when it comes to the function of the bushing. It's more just it looks a little bit nicer. Now for the terrifying inside hole. Fingers crossed. God 
dang fiddlesticks, this wasn't supposed to happen. The entire thing just kind of shifted on me. Oh well. Seeing as I no longer have Ava with me, I might as well settle into the grueling routine that's going to be to come here every day after work and take care of a section. And by section I mean either one of these or one of these. Judging by the first one of these I laid up, I should be able to take care of one of these sections in roughly five to six hours. And I'm guessing one of these is going to be around four hours. But uh, today will be the benchmark for that. This is most certainly going to be quite the grind and ridiculously tedious. But seeing as I don't have anybody here to help me, slow and steady wins the race. Fear not, because although it is going to take me somewhere close to three weeks to lay up all of the glass, or at least that is my estimate, in next weekend's video, I think I'm going to be putting in the new bulkhead, so that should give you guys something a little bit more interesting to watch rather than just watching me lay up glass. Enough yammering on, let's cue up some music and get started. Just like that, another segment is done. I just checked the time and this took pretty much spot on three hours. That is actually not all that bad. And it means if I really crack down, I can take care of two of these sections each day after work. But that is going to be a lot of work. So uh, we'll see. All that's left to do now is just to clean my little fin roller. I've already taken this apart by just loosening this tiny screw. And to clean it, I'm going to dump it into an old acetone container where there's just a tiny bit of acetone in the bottom. It's the first time I've tried this method of cleaning the fin roller, so it'll be interesting to see how it works out. And the acetone I can go ahead and reuse tomorrow. This looks like a very promising method. This thing is basically like new and it was very quick to do. I've heard that variety is the spice of life. So let's go ahead and see if I can fix that bushing I almost wrecked yesterday. Just in case it is not completely obvious, I am not used to working with a lathe. And the simple fact that I haven't killed myself yet is, well, kind of surprising. I am sure there is a different way of clamping this guy, so what happened would not have happened. But, uh, well, that is the joy of learning. I've got something here that I've wanted to take for a test spin for a long time. And although it's definitely a janky solution to fixing this little issue here, I think it's worth it just to try out this guy. This is a clamp tight. It's a gift from a subscriber, and it claims that it'll be able to clamp or band anything. I think my bushing qualifies as an anything. Cut wire to length, four times the item you are clamping, plus 12 inches. Fold wire in half. I am sure somebody that's used to using this contraption can make this look a lot tidier. But uh, let's go ahead and see if this works. This thing is really tightening down hard. I don't think I'm going to tighten this anymore because I don't want to damage the surface here. I'm pretty sure having to reclamp this is not really ideal, but we'll see if it works. After a little bit of fiddling around, it looks like I am within 1.2, 1.3 millimeters of my desired diameter here. Now in an effort to not mess this up, I'm going to leave it like this overnight and then tomorrow morning I can check with Mr. Cement Boat Guy to see if he's got any tips for how not to mess this up. It's around 11 o'clock at night and that means my alarm will be going off in 7 hours, so I think it's time to head back to Obelix and take a little nap. Nap and a full day's worth of work completed. Let me show you guys a little magic trick. Are you ready? Here it comes. Ta-da! And that is how you turn hours and hours of work into a split second of video. Pretty impressive magic trick, right? It's official. The starboard side is done, with the exception of the area underneath the head, like I mentioned earlier in the video. 
Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. The weekend is finally here. Now, I could continue laying up glass, but seeing as I can take care of one of those sections each day after work, I think today is better spent preparing for putting in the new bulkhead. Like I've mentioned, I would much prefer to put in the new bulkhead before removing the old one. But before I can do that, I need to do a tiny bit of demolition up here, and I also need to make a template. The bulkhead is gonna get moved forward to right around here. And what you're seeing up here is a piece of plywood that's kind of loosely glued to the side of the cabin top, just as a piece of trim. For me to tap the new bulkhead to the cabin top, I'm gonna have to cut a strip out of this. Of course, that also means cutting this piece of teak trim. Now, ideally, I would wanna reuse this, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually remove this, but uh, let's give it a go. Nice, it appears this is just screwed in, it's not glued, so uh, I should be able to remove this and reuse it. And of course, I managed to jinx myself there. This screw is going absolutely nowhere, so, well, I'm just gonna have to find some new teak. I haven't shown you guys this drawing yet. This is Athena's new layout. There are a couple of things I like to fix in here, so I think we'll save that for next weekend's video. For now, I just wanna make sure I put the new bucket in the right location. This is what I meant with loosely glued on. As you can see, there is not much of a bond here. Seeing how this looks on camera, I better just mention this because I'm sure I'm gonna get some comments saying that putting the bulkhead here will make the settee too short. But the distance from this bulkhead to the main bulkhead is long enough that I can lay down fully stretched. So I think that's perfect. With that out of the way, everything that stands between me and being able to make the template for the new bulkhead is a little bit of sanding. I am completely drenched in sweat and sprinkled with fiberglass dust. What a delightful weekend. But the good news is I'm finally ready to make the template for the new bulkhead. As you can see here, some of the old tabbing let go of the hull when I was struggling to get this piece of plywood out of here. I've completely ground away all of that tabbing just to get into a good laminate. To make my template, I'm gonna be using some strips of MDF that I've already ripped to size and a hot glue gun. Up until a few hours ago, I had never owned a hot glue gun before, so this is very exciting and I have high expectations from this one. I'm sure some of you can remember how pleasantly surprised I was with this thing and look, they're the same brand. The boat is tilted ever so slightly forward and to starboard, so I can't use a level to get this right, but I can use the old bulkhead as a reference. I'm gonna put the new bulkhead exactly 38 centimeters from the old one. Now that I've got a somewhat accurate pencil line to guide me, it is time for the hot glue gun to spring into action. The plan here is astonishingly simple. I'm gonna glue a bunch of these to the side of the hull and use them to secure the MDF. This actually looks kind of cool, and it's a great way for me to visualize the size of the new head which is gonna be absolutely massive. Now it's just a matter of tracing the curvature of the hull onto the MDF 
and this should be a very accurate template. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna get a good template out of this. On goes another piece of the puzzle. And that is the shape of the template done. I am very excited to see how this is going to turn out next weekend. All the plywood I'm going to be using for the bulkhead will of course have to fit through the companionway hatch. And it looks like I can get away with maybe 80 or 90 centimeters. I can rip the plywood to size up at the workshop and I can also do the scuff joints up there. So all I have to do here aboard the boat is just to put the pieces together and tap the bulkhead in place. A width of 80 to 90 centimeters is gonna put my scuff joint right around here which is perfectly okay. I am really excited to see how this is all gonna pan out next weekend. I can hardly wait. With all the other big projects I've done here aboard Athena, like rebuilding the deck and the osmosis treatment, I get to a point where just seeing the progress being made is a huge motivational factor. Now for this project, I haven't gotten there yet because laying up all of that glass and stuff was not that fun, but seeing the template for the new bulkhead, that really did it for me. And I think next weekend when the bulkhead goes in, woo, it's gonna be awesome. The plan for the new bulkhead is to tab it to the hull to somewhere right around here, just as with the old bulkhead. That puts the edge of the plywood somewhere right around here. Now to join the bulkhead up with the piece of plywood that's gonna be sitting here, I'm going to curve a piece of plywood and do a nice big radius corner here. So this is going to be nice and round, unlike the old one, which was just boring and flat. Speaking of the plan, I better end this video here and uh, dedicate the rest of the day just trying to figure out the last little intricacies of the new layout. But before I end this video, I just want to show you one last little thing. Ta-da! The new rudder bushing. Under the watchful eye of my own personal Yoda, Cement boat guy helped me do the last little bit of work to this and it is now absolutely perfect. Pump does swell up a little bit once it's submerged. So we oversized the hole here by, I believe it was two tenths of a millimeter. But yeah, this thing should be spot on. So the rudder is almost ready to go back on. There are two more bushings and they're kind of weird because they're very, very thin. They're only about two or three millimeters thick. And it'll be very interesting to see what happens once you go that thin on the lathe. But yeah, the rudder is almost ready to go back on. And that is basically gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna switch into planning mode and uh, hopefully next weekend I can show you a plan of Athena's new layout, a bunch more glass laid up and we might be able to get at least part of the new bulkhead put up. So uh, yeah, next weekend should be very exciting. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below and don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. See you.